Hello everyone, I am Dr. K. Annapurna, Associate Professor of ECE Department, VFSTR Dimutubi University, Vadlamudi. Our today's topic is high pass filters. In the last class, we have seen the low pass filter, which is allowed to pass only low frequency range of signals and stops the high frequencies. Whereas this high pass filter means, which is allowed to pass the high frequency signals and stops the low frequency signals. Okay. The main objective of this class is to make you familiarize with the concept of high pass filter and the impact of order of the filter on frequency response of the filter. And by the end of this lecture, you will be able to answer what is high pass filter and how is the frequency response of high pass filter, what happens to the frequency response if order of the filter is changed and what are the applications of high pass filter and how to design a high pass filter for given specifications. So what is high pass filter? It is a filter which is allowed to pass only high frequency signals. High frequency signals means from cutoff frequency to infinite frequency it used to pass and stops the frequency of signals from 0 to cutoff frequency. And next coming to the applications, in many RF circuits, to eliminate the low frequency noise, we use high pass filters. And in image processing, to extract the sharp features like outlines, we use high pass filters. In loudspeakers, to reduce the low frequency noise, we use high pass filters. And in audio amplifiers, to amplify the audio frequency signals, we use high pass and it is used in equalizers also and these are the few applications of high pass filter. Okay, now let us see the frequency response of ideal and practical high pass filter. So, first let us see the ideal frequency response. So, on y axis we are taking gain, on x axis frequency. Suppose this is your cutoff frequency, so the ideal frequency response will be like this. If you see the practical response, it will be like this. So, in both cases you can observe from cutoff frequency to infinite frequency it is offering high gain and for low frequency signals it is not passing, it is offering a zero gain. But if you see the practical at the cutoff frequency its gain will be 1 by root 2 times the maximum gain whereas ideal means shortly at cutoff frequency its gain will change from 0 to some finite gain. Okay, now let us see the first order high pass filter. So, first this is the circuit diagram of high pass filter. If you observe, we are operating the operational amplifier in non-inverting mode. So, what will be the output expression? So, V naught is equal to and in non-inverting amplifier, the input will be given directly to the non-inverting pin. So, let this voltage is V1. So, what is the output expression? 1 plus RF by Ri into V1. So, what is V1? 
in terms of vi here c and r are connected in series because whatever the current flowing through the capacitor the same current will flow through resistor also because here into the operational amplifier due to its high input impedance it won't allow any current so whatever the current flowing through the capacitor the same current is flowing through resistor means they are in series so what is v1 it is equal to vi into r by r plus 1 by j omega c according to voltage division principle okay now let us substitute this v1 okay let this first expression is 1 and second expression is 2 substituting 2 in 1 So V naught is equal to one plus R F by R I into V I into R by R plus one by J omega C. Okay. So this implies the gain is equal to V naught by V I is equal to 1 plus R F by R I into. If you simplify this, taking LCM as J omega C, so it will go to the numerator. 1 plus J omega C R. Okay. Now let us assume 1 plus R F by R I is. A max and omega L is equal to one by R C. So by assuming these two, this expression becomes A is equal to A max into J omega by omega L by One plus j omega by omega l. Okay. Now, if you take the magnitude, so magnitude becomes. See here, in the numerator there is only imaginary term. So actually, magnitude of a complex number means square root of real part square plus imaginary part square. So here, omega by omega l by square root of in the denominator what you have one plus j omega by omega l. So one plus omega by omega l whole square. Right. So, if you further simplify, that is div dividing with omega by omega l, both numerator and denominator, you will get one by square root of. Here, it will get cancels. So, one plus here it is not there. So, we have to write reverse. Okay. So, this is the magnitude expression. And here we have a max term also, a max into. So here you will get a max. This a max, okay. So this is the magnitude of gain for high pass filter. Now see. At omega equal to zero, that is at zero frequency, what is the gain? At zero frequency, what is the gain? If I substitute here zero, so something by zero means the denominator becomes infinite. So a max by infinite means you will have zero gain. Next, the gain at cutoff frequency omega l. 
So how much will be the gain at omega equal to omega L? This term becomes 1. So square root of 2, 1 plus 1. So A max by root 2. Right? And at omega equal to infinite, what is the gain? So when omega is infinity means this term becomes 0. So 1 plus 0 means 1. The denominator is 1 means the gain becomes A max. Right? So now let us see the frequency response. So from that analysis, we are taking f or omega on x axis. Omega is nothing but 2 pi f. So at 0 frequency, the gain is 0. And at omega equal to omega L, the gain is A max by root 2. Suppose this is omega L. Okay, here I have taken F means you need to take FL. So take FL. So the gain will be 1 by root 2 times the maximum gain. Right? This is A max. So this is the frequency response of first order high pass filter. And here the slope will be plus 20 decibels per decade because it is first order. Okay. Now for given specifications, how to design a high pass filter? Okay. So they will give you the maximum gain. What should be the maximum gain and what should be the cutoff frequency? So they are the given specifications. So what is the formula for cutoff frequency? It is FL equal to 1 by 2 pi RC is the cutoff frequency formula. So in that FL is given, that is cutoff frequency is given. And C, let us assume 0 0.01 microfarads. Okay, less than or equal to means generally we take C value 0 0.01 microfarads. So by assuming C value, you can find the R value. And then what is the maximum gain? So what we have assumed? So A max equal to 1 plus RF by RI. So just now we have seen, so in the derivation, so this is the assumption we made, A max is equal to 1 plus Rf by Ri, okay. So here 1 plus Rf by Ri is A max, A max is given, so we need to find Rf and Ri. So here we will assume Ri value as 10 kilo ohms. So from that you can find the value of Rf. Okay. So substituting in this formula by assuming Ri value and we can get the Rf value. So after finding all these values R, C, Ri and Rf, you need to draw the first order high pass filter and we have to place these values. Then only the design will be completed. Okay, now let us see a design problem. Design a first order high pass filter for a cutoff frequency of 2 kilohertz with a pass band gain of 2. Okay, what is the cutoff frequency given? Here cutoff frequency of high pass is represented as FL. Why it is called FL means this is the least frequency passed by the high pass. So the formula is 1 by 2 pi RC. Because FL we assumed as, what is FL we assumed or omega L? It is 1 by RC. Omega L is 1 by RC means what is FL? It is 1 by 2 pi RC because omega is equal to 2 pi F. So FL equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Next we have to assume C value. So let C is equal to 0.01 microfarads. 
So from this what is R value? 1 by 2 pi F L into C. This implies R is equal to 1 by 2 pi what is F L given? 2 K that is 2 into 10 power 3 into C is 0 0.01 microfarads. Micro means 10 power minus 6. So, how much value you got? So, it is 7.95 kilo ohms. Okay, two values are over. And then we need to find Ri and Rf from the gain. So, what is the maximum gain given? It is 2. So, 2 is equal to what is the formula for maximum gain? 1 plus Rf by Ri. So, assume Ri is equal to 10 kilo ohms. Then what should be the Rf? See here, 1 plus Rf by Ri is 2 means Rf by Ri is equal to 1. That means Rf is equal to Ri. Okay, so Rf is also 10 kilo ohms. So, we have found all values. Next thing, we need to draw the first order high pass and we have to place these values. Okay, this is the first order high pass. Now, what is the C? What we have assumed it is 0 0.01 microfarads. And what the value of R you got? 7.95 kilo ohms. And what are Ri and Rf values? Both are 10 kilo ohms. So, once if you execute this, if you perform this, then the frequency response will be like with cutoff frequency 2 kilohertz and the passband gain 2. That means the frequency response will be like this. So, this maximum gain is 2 and at cutoff frequency it is 2 by root 2. And this frequency is 2 kilohertz. Okay. Now, general second order filter and analysis. So, that is, we are going for second order high pass. So, directly instead of going second order high pass, first let us see the general second order filter. Okay, this is general second order filter y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay, already we have solved the gain expression in the last class. So, A is equal to V0 by Vi is equal to A max into y1, y2 by y1, y2 plus y2 y3 into 1 minus a 
plus y4 into y1 plus y2 plus y2. Okay. Now let us see the second order hyperspindle. So second order hypos filter means in the place of y1, y2, y3, y4, we will keep resistors and capacitors appropriately. So this is hypos. So in the place of y1 and y2, you will have capacitors and y2 and y3, you will have, sorry, y3 and y4, you will have resistors. Okay, this is the second order high pass filter. Okay, so here in the place of Y1 and Y2, we are having capacitors and with the name C, and in the place of Y3 and Y4, we are having resistors, the name R. That means Y1 and Y2 should be replaced by the capacitive susceptance, that is SC, and Y3 and Y4, they are resistors, means the admittances we need to write. So, that is 1 by R. So, what is our generalized expression? A is equal to A max into Y1, Y2 by Y1, Y2 plus Y2, Y3 into 1 minus A plus Y4 into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. Okay. Now let us substitute. Now let us substitute these y1, y2, y3, y4 values in the gain expression. So the gain becomes a is equal to a max into what is y1, y2? Sc into Sc that is s square c square by s square c square plus y2 y3 is sc into 1 by r that is sc by r into 1 minus a plus y4 that means 1 by r into y1 plus y2 plus y3 y1 y2 is sc so 2 sc plus 1 by r okay now and divide with this s square c square both numerator and denominator you will get a max by here 1 plus if I divide with s square c square I will get here 1 by scr into 1 minus a max plus here s square c square, if I divide with s square c square, here I will get 2 by scr is one term and the second term is 1 by s square c square r square. So now let us simplify this. So A max by one plus one by SCR. If I take common, it is two by SCR plus one. So it is three times minus A max plus one by s square c square r square right now if i substitute s equal to j omega then a max by 
1 plus 1 by j omega cr into 3 minus a max plus or minus 1 by because j square is minus omega square c square r square. So, now let us carry this to the next slide a max by a max by what we got 1 plus 1 by j omega cr 1 plus 1 by j omega cr into 3 minus a max minus 1 by omega square c square r square. Okay. Now, let us assume 3 minus a max is alpha damping factor and omega l that is the cutoff frequency is 1 by rc. Then the expression becomes a max by one plus here one by R C is and one by J is minus J. So here it you will get minus. So one minus J omega L by omega into alpha minus omega L by omega whole square. Okay. Now, coming to the magnitude of this. So, magnitude means real part square plus imaginary part square. So, A max by square root of real part means 1 minus omega L by omega square. This is the real part. So, this whole square plus alpha into omega L by omega whole square. This is the imaginary part. So, this is the magnitude of second order high pass. Okay, for second order high pass, the gain expression is like this. So, now how will be the frequency response means? So, this is the cutoff frequency and here the gain will be maximum gain by root 2 and this is the maximum gain. Okay. And here the only difference is between first order response and second order response. The slope of first order response is plus 20 decibels per decade whereas slope of second order becomes plus 40 decibels per decade. If you go for third order plus 60 decibels per decade, okay. And here alpha is called damping coefficient. Now second order Butterworth high pass filter. So Butterworth high pass filter means for Butterworth the alpha is 1.414 that is root 2. Okay. Now, let us see the gain, magnitude of the gain if we substitute Butterworth. That means alpha is root 2. So, what is the gain expression we got? A max phi square root of 1 minus omega L by omega square whole square plus alpha into omega L by omega whole square. 
okay this is the generalized magnitude of the second order hypers now i am substituting alpha is root 2 then what will be the gain so a max by square root of 1 minus omega l by okay here it is in the form of a minus b whole square so a minus b whole square means a square plus b square already square so again square means it becomes 4 minus 2 a b so 2 times omega l by omega whole square this is the first term and second term is alpha is root 2 so root 2 square means 2 times 2 times omega l square by omega square and this and this gets cancels so what is the gain you got a max by square root of 1 plus omega l by omega whole to the power of 4. Here 4 is nothing but 2n. You can replace this 4 with 2n where n is order of the filter. So here it is second order that is why you got 4. If it is third order you will get 6. Okay. So this is the gain of second order Butterworth Hypers filter. And now let us see the design steps of second order hypers filter. Okay, second order Butterworth hypers filter. Here the gain is fixed because what is the alpha for uh, Butterworth filter? It is root 2. And what is the relation between A max and alpha? See here. So, this 3 minus A max and this is alpha, right? You please remember the relation between the damping factor and maximum gain. So, 3 minus A max is alpha means what is A max? It is 3 minus alpha. That means 3 minus 1.414. So, it is nothing but 1.586. So, the maximum gain of second order Butterworth is 1.586. It is fixed. So, in the given specifications, they won't give us the gain, they will give us only the cutoff frequency. And what is the formula for cutoff frequency? The same formula as first order. And here also we will assume C value and we will find R value. And next gain, it is fixed 1.586. Okay. So, A max is 1.586 and here also we are assuming Ri is 10 kilo ohms. And from that we will find the RF value. And after finding all these values, you need to draw the second order high pass filter and we have to place the values appropriately. Now let us see a problem. For the filter shown, find the cutoff frequency and pass band gain. So this is second order because two RC sections are there. Okay, second order and here it is high pass. So, second order high pass filter. What is the cutoff frequency formula? FL equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Okay, so substitute the values 2 pi and what is R? 16 kilo ohms. And what is C? 0.01 microfarads. It is 994 hertz. And next pass band gain. So, what is the pass band gain? That means A max. It is 1 plus RF by Ri. So, what is RF? 15.8 kilo ohms. So, 15.8 into 10 power 3 by 27. Ri is in the place of Ri, you have 27 kilo ohms. So, if you simplify this, you will get 1.586. Okay. 
Now let us recap what we have discussed in this class. What is high-pass filter? A high-pass filter is a filter which is allowed to pass only high frequency signals and stops the low frequency signals. High frequency signals means from cutoff frequency to infinite. And what is the cutoff frequency of high pass filter? So the cutoff frequency means where the gain is 1 by root 2 times the maximum gain and which separates the stop band and pass band. And in high pass filter it is represented with FL. Okay, because it is the least frequency passed by the high pass. Why the cutoff frequency of high pass filter is represented by FL? Because it is the least frequency passed by the high pass. Is there any phase difference between input and output? Is there any phase difference? So, see the gain expression. Okay, there will be real and imaginary terms means definitely there will be phase shift. But because of non-inverting configuration, it won't give any phase shift. But because of this RC combinations, there will be some phase shift. Okay. What is the difference between first order and second order? Okay. Now let us see clearly. Okay. First I am drawing the ideal frequency response. Okay, this is ideal frequency response and this is the cutoff frequency. So, at the cutoff frequency, the gain will suddenly change from 0 to some A max. So, this is ideal. Now, let us see first order. So, this is first order. So, at the cutoff frequency, the gain will be A max by root 2. Now, let us see the second order. So, this is second order. What are the applications of high pass filters? So, high pass filters are used in RF circuits, audio amplifiers, image processing and equalizers. Not only these applications, these are few of the applications of high pass filter. What is the value of damping ratio for Butterworth second order high pass? Damping factor or damping ratio all are same, it is alpha and for Butterworth filter it is 1.414. What is the value of maximum gain for Butterworth second order high pass filter? The relation between alpha and A max is A max is equal to 3 minus alpha. So, it is 1.586. Okay. And this is your assignment. These are the references. I hope you understand. Thank you.